The Sykeston community is still on the road to recovery after last week's tornado. Ahmad Lathan joins us live in the newsroom to tell us the latest. Ahmad. Kathy, the American Red Cross closed down their 24-hour shelter in Sykeston one day ago. Now one local organization leader tells me there is still a need for more resources. Reagan Collins works with the area's community action agency. She says they are receiving 40 calls a day since the tornado touched down. She tells me they are working with limited resources because a previous storm flooded their shelter. The funds that we have, we're only able to house either one person or family at a time. And so without the shelter, we've been struggling, but we're doing the best that we can and making appropriate referrals, um, hoping to maybe that we can find other places for them to get resources if we're unable to help. Crews are still working on finishing touches on the new shelter building at this time, which they hope will be open by the end of the year. Collins tells me they will be working with, with the multi-regional action agency heading into Sunday. Kathy.